We're going to have so much fun tonight. Yeah, we are. Hey, Tavy, did you forget your earrings? I did forget them. Can I borrow yours? Sure, here. Sierra Lewis here, your bloodborne pathogen expert. Bloodborne pathogens are infectious microorganisms in human blood that can cause diseases. You may have heard of some of the most common ones like hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and HIV. Needles, earrings, and any cut from the sharp object can be exposed to bloodborne pathogens. Okay, now keep rolling. Everybody not going to practice? I can't find my jersey. I got you. I appreciate it, bro. As you can see, Dylan is about to lend Jaquan his dirty jersey. Blood holds the majority of infectious diseases, but it can also be transferred through sweat or any other bodily fluids. Let's go to our next scene. If someone has an open cut, there is a chance that it could have a bloodborne pathogen. If someone comes in contact with that blood, it can get either hepatitis A, B, or C, or even AIDS. So here's a recap on how to avoid contracting bloodborne pathogens. Never borrow other people's earrings or other pierced jewelry. All bodily fluids can carry bloodborne pathogens, so be aware of them and try not to touch other people's bodily fluids. Also, wear your PPE when dealing with bodily fluids. Bloodborne pathogens are potentially deadly diseases, so make sure you follow these rules. Prevention is key, so be careful with these sharp objects and make sure you know the proper protective measures. If someone does get hurt, take care of the injuries first, then clean up the mess. If you do these things, you will be protected from the harmful disease. So now you know, my job here is done.